Kerry Jean Atkinson, better known by his ring name Kerry Von Erich, was an American professional wrestler. He was part of the Von Erich family of professional wrestlers. Von Erich was born in Niagara Falls, New York, on February 3, 1960. He was the fourth son of Fritz Von Erich, a legendary professional wrestler. Kerry's older brothers, David, Kevin, and Mike, were also professional wrestlers. He was a standout in high school track and field and possessed a record-breaking discus throw. He debuted in his father's promotion, NWA Texas slash Big Time Wrestling on May 7, 1978, against Paul Pershman. In Big Time Wrestling, he held many Texas Tag Team and American Tag Team titles. In 1982, Kerry Von Erich won his first major singles title, the NWA American Heavyweight Championship. He held the title for over a year, before losing it to Ric Flair. In 1984, Von Erich won the NWA World Heavyweight Championship, but he only held the title for three weeks. Kerry Von Erich had his right foot amputated below the ankle in 1986 after a motorcycle accident. He kept his amputation a secret from the public for several years, even going so far as to wear a shoe on his prosthetic foot during matches. The accident occurred on June 4, 1986, when Von Erich was riding his motorcycle home from a bar. He lost control of the bike and crashed into a tree. The accident left him with a broken leg, a dislocated hip, and a severed foot. Von Erich underwent surgery to repair his leg and hip, but his foot could not be saved. Doctors amputated his foot below the ankle. He asked his friends and family to keep his secret. In 1991, Von Erich's secret was finally revealed. He was interviewed by a reporter for the Dallas Morning News, and he admitted that he had his foot amputated. In 1990, Kerry Von Erich signed with the World Wrestling Federation WWF. He quickly rose to the top of the card, winning the WWF Intercontinental Championship at SummerSlam in 1990. He held the title for over six months before losing it to Mr. Perfect. Kerry Von Erich's career was plagued by injuries and personal problems. He retired from professional wrestling in 1992. Von Erich's amputation had a profound impact on his life. He struggled with depression and addiction, and he eventually took his own life on February 18, 1993, at the age of 33. Adkisson held 40 championships in various promotions during his career. He was inducted into the Wrestling Observer Newsletter Hall of Fame in 1996. Kerry Von Erich's story is a tragic one, but it is also a story of courage and determination. He overcame a physical disability to become one of the most popular professional wrestlers of his generation. His story is a reminder that anything is possible if you never give up. Kerry Von Erich is still remembered as one of the most talented and charismatic wrestlers of his generation. He was a true star who brought excitement and joy to fans all over the world.